God is going to overpower your enemies. Amen. God is going to overpower all our enemies in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Esther chapter 9 verses 1. In the 12th month, that is the month of Ada, on the 13th day of the same, when the king's commandment and his decree drew near to be put in execution, in the day that the enemies of Jews hoped to have power over them, though it was turned to the contrary that the Jews had power over them that they hated them. This is why I want an IV. Because an IV says, in the 13th day of the 12th month, the month of Ada, the edict commanded by the king was to be carried out. In this day, the enemies of the Jews had hoped to overpower them. But now the tables were turned and the Jews got the upper hand over those who hated them. Amen. Praise the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. One thing you notice here is dates. Dates. I am saying, may God overpower your enemy. Amen. May God overpower your enemy. Amen. What are we seeing? We are seeing dates. Now, in the 12th month, that is the month of Ada, on the 13th day of the same, when the king's commandment. Why are the dates important? Why are the dates here important? Yes. Listen to me. Hallelujah. Amen. Say amen. amen. The dates are important because amen. these are the exact dates that the king had signed oh that God. all the Jews must be killed. Oh when Haman was a prime minister, amen. he had declared and purposed and plotted against the children of God, the Jews. Listen to me, hallelujah. Amen. And they had come up with a date when the children of God will be unhirated. That day was supposed to be 12 months called Ada on the 13th day. Praise the name of Jesus. And you remember what happened? Mordecai and Esther, they are in fasting and prayer, which overthrows all the plans of the enemy. We are going to pray. We are going to fast. We are going to seek the will of God until something comes to pass in the name of Jesus. You know how it was overpowered? Because Esther called for a first banquet and the second banquet. Everything about Haman was overthrown. Praise the name of Jesus Christ. And then Esther goes with a request to the king Ahasuerus. And she says unto him, I want you to turn what you wrote down that my people must be killed. My people must be unhirated. Hey, hallelujah. Amen. These are wise women speaking. Amen. Praise the name of Jesus. Amen. The king said to his a beautiful wife Esther. Unfortunately, it cannot happen. I, it cannot be done because I have signed. And according to the law of madness and passion, Pasha, Pasha, Pashians, according to the law of men's and Pashians, it cannot be amended what the king has appended and sealed. But something is going to be done to you. On the same day, Jews will be empowered. Hallelujah. Who are these Jews? These are slaves. These are slaves. These are slaves. But now things are beginning to turn upside down. The king says there is something we can do. These slaves are not supposed to have any sophisticated weapon. Praise the name of Jesus. But now I do another decree that Jews will be empowered and given the best weapons. Given the best weapons so that as the enemy tries to attack them, they have the capacity. They have the grace. They have the armory to attack back. Praise the name of Jesus. We have been armored by God. We have been powered by God. What one of the this program is proudly powered by. I'm telling you, Powerhouse Super Church, Apostle Frank Healing Ministries, is proudly sponsored and proudly powered by the harassing God. Powered by God. Powered by God. Powered by God. Lift up your hands and begin to worship Him. He is mighty. He is gracious. He is arming your arms with strength. He is putting strength in your hands. He is one. He wants you to fight back. We are gonna fight back. We are gonna fight back. We are gonna fight back. May God overpower your enemy. 
enemies. May God overpower your enemies. Receive the strength. Receive the power. Receive empowerment to overcome your enemies. In the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah. The Jews, the slaves were empowered. They were given the best weapons. So that come that day, they will not be fought. They have the capacity to fight. That is why God has been preparing us. That is why God has been preparing you. That you can be empowered from inside to fight against your enemies. Do you feel you have the strength, the power to release missiles in the spiritual realm? Read your hands and say, Holy Ghost fire! You have the anointing, you have the strength to fight the enemy in the mighty name of Jesus. We bring the devil down. We overpower the devil. God is going to overpower our enemies. Our enemies. Our enemies. Praise the name of the Lord. Praise the name of Jesus. Now when that day came, that 13th day of the month of Eda, my God, the Bible says, this is the time the edict had been commanded by the king to be carried out. This is when Jews were supposed to be killed. I declare you shall not die. You shall not die. Because as this death edict is being executed, you have been empowered. You have been empowered. You have been empowered. You have the power. Receive the power. Receive the power. Receive the power. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. On this day, the enemies of the Jews had hopes. They had hoped to overpower them. But now the tables and turned. 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 Remember, by this time, Mordecai is the prime minister. By now, Mordecai, who was supposed to be killed, is the prime minister. I believe he gave the Jews the best. I don't know about it, but I think he also reduced the strength of the enemies. He took the best and he gave them to his friends, the Jews, praise the name of Jesus, tables are turning, tables are turning, tables are turning, they had hoped that they may overpower the Jews, but the tables were turned, and the Jews got an upper hand over those that hated him, over those that hated them, hallelujah, we have an upper hand now, because our hands are the strength, our hands are the strength, our hands are a strength, and you that feel that you have no strength, receive that strength, receive divine strength, receive divine strength, receive divine strength in the mighty name of Jesus, receive divine strength in the name of Jesus, in your hands, receive financial strength, receive the strength of the Holy Ghost, receive the rational strength, receive it, receive it, receive it in the mighty, 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 mighty name of Jesus. Christ are. Give him praise, give him praise, give him praise, give him praise. Verses 2, the Bible says the Jews assembled in the cities in all the provinces of King Sanchez to attack those seeking their destruction. No one could be able to stand against them because the people of all other nationalities were afraid of them. No one was able to attack them because all other nationalities 127 provinces they were now coming up to help the Jews to help the Jews to help the Jews we pray now may people begin to help you may you receive help from men I command your networks to grow and to give you a network in the mighty name of Jesus may people that never helped you 10 years ago help you now help you now help you now in the name of Jesus on this altar I declare those that forgot you may they remember you now 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 receive it 
I want you to understand that people in these provinces, they are the ones that are the brand. How they shall kill Jews and totally annihilate them. But now the tables have turned. Tables have turned. They cannot even be able to attack them because there is a big man in the government called Mordecai. Called Mordecai. Praise the name of the Lord. Praise the name of Jesus. Praise the name of Jesus. We command all the Mordecai in the government to rise up and help this nation. To rise up and help this nation. As it is LGBTQ, we declare, red the government. Red the government. Red the people in the government. Red the diplomats. Begin right now to hear of the charge to fight against this demonic monster called LGBTQ. If you believe it, shout hallelujah. The King Jesus has come today. God is going to overpower them. 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 God is going to overcome the, the lesbians, the gays. Oh my God, the transgender, the bisexual, the queer, the questioning. God is going to overcome the asexual. He is going to overcome transgender. He is going to overcome all of them. If you believe it, shall hallelujah. The believe it, shall hallelujah. Give him a mighty hand from today. He is going to overcome them. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus is going to overpower them. All your enemies consequently will be overpowered by our God. I receive prophetic one to each one of us. May the Lord overpower your enemies. 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 In the mighty name of Jesus. The Bible says in verse 3, and all the nobles of the provinces, the satraps, the governors, and the kings and the ministrators helped the Jews because fear of Mordecai had seized them. Fear of Mordecai had seized them. They began to help them. I am praying that God is going to send someone to help you. May God send somebody to help you. May God send somebody to help you. May God send somebody to help you. If you believe somebody is going to be sent to help you this week, lift up your hands and celebrate. Celebrate Jesus. Celebrate Jesus. I can hear your voices. Celebrate. Somebody that hated you is about to help you. Somebody who insulted you is about to help you. Somebody who cast you out is about to call you back. Is about to help you. I declare help from unfamiliar sources in the mighty name of the Lord. May God, may God overpower your enemies. May God overpower your enemies. If you believe, shout hallelujah. May the grace of God shine over the children of God. This is powerful. Yeah. Verses 3 is powerful and verses 4. Uh -huh. The Bible says, and all the nobles of the provinces, yeah. the satraps, the governors, and the kings and administrators helped the Jews because fear of Mordecai oh had deceived them. Oh Who is this Mordecai? This was a soldier. This was a security man. This is a gate man. Who you need soldier? They are in the gate. But this man knows his God. The Bible says those that know their God, they shall be strong and they shall do exploits. And Mordecai is a kind of man that is weak, that has financial deficits, that is crippled financially, that has no relationships, but has a relationship with God and that is all that matters when you have a relationship with God that is all that matters that is all that matters and so Haman wants this man to bow but this man says I cannot bow unto any man I know Yahweh I know Jehovah I know Adonai I know Elohim I know the God of Abraham Isaac and Jacob I know the God that can bring fire down I know the God that says, Thou shalt have no other gods apart from me. And thou shalt worship the Lord thy God with all your strength, with all your mind, and him only shalt thou serve. This is Mordecai. He knows his God. He knows his God. 
He knows his God. And because of refusing to bow down, there is a negative against him. There is a decree against him. I know because of serving God, there is a decree against you. But I declare that the decree against you will not see the right of the day. 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 This Mordecai is weak, but because he has God, tables are about to turn. Look at what the Bible says, verses 4. For Mordecai was, a, was great in the king's house, and his fame went throughout all the provinces. For this man Mordecai what greater and greater he was greater and greater when the lord shall overpower your enemies you will work greater and greater you will become bigger and bigger your faith is gonna grow throughout the provinces throughout the cities mordecai was not known mordecai was hated and ridiculed and rejected but this time round the people are bowing down to mordecai they are bowing now down to mordecai i see salute coming your way I see salute coming your way. Men and women are gonna salute you. Men and women are gonna salute you. Men and women are gonna salute you. If you believe you shall be saluted. Give me praise.